What have you gotten us into, you dumb shit? Will you shut up, you stupid gorilla? You came to my town. You run around like a maniac. You bring the police and the DEA into my life. And now I want you gone. Pick the news! Oh, oh. 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 It's time for you to revenge the death of that girl of yours. We could have had something special. I, I know you cared about her, man. But she wasn't right for you. Now, Vic, tell me, why did you sign up, huh? To stay out of jail because you like getting shouted at? What makes you polish your boots and put bullets in your guns in the hopes that maybe you get to shoot someone, huh? All these principles, you go around shooting people. I do what I gotta do. Ooh. After I trusted an asshole. You enjoyed it, brother. Admit it. Cause you're a maniac, huh? I gave you a life. This is it, man. No more Mendez. No more trouble for us. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to episode 31 of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Glad to have you guys back here today, especially since it appears like we're in the final stretch of the game. A whole lot actually happened in the last episode, so if you missed that, be sure to go check that out because quite a lot of things went down. Um, for one, we killed Armando Mendez, one of the Mendez brothers, and we also stole an Apache helicopter from the army base. We had some help from our old friend Phil Cassidy who helped us storm the army base and create a distraction for us to get in, getting a measure of vengeance because his sister Louise had died to the Mendez brothers just the mission before that. So yeah, if you're thrown for a loop right now, go and check that video out because, I mean, a lot of story stuff happened. And um, I'm willing to bet that even more is going to happen today. It might be the finale episode, I'm not sure. But it seems like we're leading up to a pretty climactic conclusion here now that we have the Apache. And uh, we only have Martinez and Diego Mendez left to kill. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the action. As you can see, we're outside the Diaz mansion, so let's go ahead and take the next mission. Alright, last stand. So my guess is we probably kill either Diego or Martinez in this mission, and then we'll probably have one more after this, but I guess we'll see. Mendez is downtown. This place is like a fortress. But this baby, she'll tear the whole building down. Great! When I'm done, we're done! Lance and I will owe you nothing! When you oh, the irony. This town, it's the American dream, and it's all because of you, Vic. You're a hero! No, I'm an asshole. I spent all my time running around making morons rich while my family fell apart and the woman I wanted died waiting for me to call. Woman, you need some porn? I just got in some crazy donkey really? porn. You'll love it. I'll be finished with it by the time you get back. I'm not coming back, Diaz. And I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Woohoo! Whatever you say, tough guy. I'll see you around. <laughs> man, Diaz, just stand back. I'm a man on a mission. Alright, so it sounds like Diego Mendez is next on our list, and this is going to be awesome, and you know why? Because we got the Apache. As I mentioned in the previous episode, this is probably my favorite vehicle in all of Grand Theft Auto. Um, the Apache is an absolute monstrosity. The thing could damn near level an entire city all on its own, and it sounds like we're going to do just that. But howdy out there, guys. I hope that your day is going well. If you look outside your door and you see an Apache helicopter flying by your house, run like hell, because chances are you are doomed. But for the 99% of you who don't see an Apache helicopter, I hope that you're instead greeted by a bright, sunny morning like the one I'm waking up to today. It's both one of the things that I love and resent about my room is the fact I don't have any curtains, so um, the light just comes right in and shines on my face in the morning. So it wakes me up, it's kind of like a natural alarm clock for me which God knows I need. Ooh, okay, all right, let's see. We gotta take out the guards. Um, now where might they be? Um, hello, I see you on my map, and yet I do not see you people anywhere here on the ground. I guess the arrows are pointing up, though, so... Where the heck are they? Are they on top of that skyscraper, maybe? Okay, let's see. Um, let's gain some elevation here. Missile lock, what the hell? Uh, what are my missiles locking on to exactly? I'm the slightest bit confused here. Um, I assume that nobody's down here at ground level. Okay, let's move up. Sorry, totally never played this mission before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, looks like they're all up here inside of the building. 
So let's just rain death upon them. Oh man, I love this. Let me guess, we're probably going to have to either land on the roof or... Oh no, I know how this is going to go. We're probably going to have to climb all the way up, aren't we? This is going to be good. But yeah, this is pretty badass just because if you guys haven't played Grand Theft Auto before, the Apache is damn near indestructible. Aside from crashing it into buildings and stuff like that because any air-based vehicle is going to take a lot of damage if you crash it. But I mean, in terms of en enemy gunfire, there's no real chance of them shooting me down. So you really don't have to worry about that at all. You can basically just rain missiles in their face, which is beyond awesome. Looks like we have a ton more damage to do, though. Yikes. Oh, wait, unless that damage meter is actually my helicopter's health. That would make a little more sense, because I've already taken out three sides of this building, pretty much. I absolutely love that even though we were able to steal the Apache from the military base, that they aren't doing anything to try to reclaim it. You would think that if someone who is basically committing a terroristic act by breaking into a military area and stealing something like this, that they would be on a nationwide, if not at least statewide, manhunt to try and find the guy. And it's not like you could... Wait, what the hell? Another red balloon? Are you kidding me? That's going to be really annoying. Uh, oh well. But like I was saying, it's not like an Apache helicopter or something that you can easily hide. It wouldn't be that hard for them to track down the guy who stole it. Just one of the quirks of Grand Theft Auto, I guess. Maybe it happens so frequently that they just kind of gave up on trying to stop it. They just figure, oh, we're going to lose a few Apaches here and there. It's no big deal. Speaking of raining death, though, I totally pre-ordered my copy of Saints Row 4 on Steam today. So when the game comes out in August, I'm going to be set and ready to let's play that bad boy. It's going to be awesome. But alright, seriously, how many more goons does Mendez even have? I mean, we must have wiped out at least half of Vice City's population trying to get to this guy. Oh, here we go, cutscene. Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Oh, crap. Come on, Vic, take it like a champ! Oh, shit. Badasses do not look at explosions. Oh, well, that's not good. You just turned around and looked at it, Vic. Way to go. I was trying to set you up to be awesome there, and you blew it. Oh, well, here's our chance to redeem ourselves, though, in spite of that. Um, it looks like the game sets you up pretty well with ammo and armor if you need it. Oh, God, whoa. Oh, did we, like, land on top of the building? Oh, well, all I know is I'm killing dudes now. That makes me very happy. Oh, indestructible office plant. My mortal foe. I never really understood the point of having plants in the office. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that it makes it somewhat more floral and not so industrialized, but I don't know. To me, office plants are just ridiculous. It's like, keep that shit outside. But okay, looks like there's probably going to be health and armor pickups along our way, which is good. I was going to say, there's a lot of guys here. No oh, crap. They're taking big chunks out of my health, too. Also, the game gave me a rocket launcher while we were up on that rooftop, so I'm a little bit worried now. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting something big. Maybe uh, Martinez will show up in his Apache and we'll have to fight him in that. But if he does, we're prepared. I'm pretty surprised that there's so many guys still left standing even after I bombarded the entire building with missiles, like, all over the place. This whole sequence actually reminds me of uh, True Crime Streets of L.A. Um, one of the endings, I think it might actually be the bad ending, um, involves you fighting your way to the top of, like, an office building, kind of like this one. Or at least, I remember being an office, maybe it was a bank or something like that, but you basically fought your way up this really tall building, and you had a boss battle on top of the building against this Korean general or something like that. In fact, if memory's serving you right now, I think his name is General Kim. Um, not that that really matters right now. Oh, did I call that or what? I hear a helicopter. Show yourself, Martinez. Oh, that's not an Apache. That looks like just a... Okay, what? Oh, it is Martinez. Oh, crap. Okay. So Martinez is here. Whoa, and Diego? Are we taking them both out in the same mission? Holy shit, okay. Shit just got real. Alright, Diego, get back up here. Thanks for the armor. But uh, yeah, True Crime Streets of LA had pretty much a final mission very, very similar to this one. And it was actually one of my favorite segments in the game, even though it was the bad ending. And so you had to screw up pretty badly to reach that point. But um, it was a fun mission nonetheless. And oh crap, alright. Get out of my way. Uh, attack the helicopter? Alright, so I guess we gotta play some cat and mouse here. Well, didn't really give much time to shoot at it. Oh crap, okay. 
You just settle down over there. Okay, take cover. All right, I think I got this figured out pretty well, so just pop out when the helicopter's done, and boom, there we go. Oh, wait, did I take it out there? Uh, no? Hello? Whoa, holy crap. That thing's flying pretty erratically. More guards, no problem. Nothing Vic Vance can't handle. Oh, crap, okay. I can see you're not done quite yet, but you're gonna be. Shit. Okay. So do guards just, like, infinitely spawn as long as you're doing this helicopter fight? Because that's what it seems like is happening. It seems like I get a couple chances to take a shot, and then two guards run into the room. But at least they're dropping armor. Okay, this time for real. Boom! Oh yeah, that son of a bitch is on fire! Oh yeah, I love hearing that satisfying crash when the helicopter hits the ground. Nothing beats that. All right, Martinez and Diego too, I guess. It's time for our showdown. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, crap. I swear to God, I thought you were gonna salute me. Toss the gun. Fuck you. Vic, still so uptight. You know what your problem is? You're trying to be the good guy in a bad man's game. I thought you had potential. Turns out you're just another chump. Like Mendez. Oh snap. You first. Porque? Okay, I have no idea what they just said to each other. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Oh god, get that armor. Holy fuck, those guys have really powerful guns. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Vic, retreat. We need to regroup. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Fuck. Okay, Martinez, now you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, I did it! Holy crap! I'm freaking out right now. Did I really kill them? Thanks for everything! Yes! You are great help! Oh Vic, turn around! Who's this asshole? Steve, I knew you'd come back to get me! I should have let the bikers kill you! Oh, it's just Lance, okay. Really, Lance? Always tardy to the party, aren't ya? <laughs> Will you shut up? It's over. What? Oh my god, he looks so confused. Oh. But we did it, baby! You and me! <laughs> oh fuck you, Lance. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I love you though. Now that things are straight with Diaz, we should get out of town or lay low for a little while, you know? Yeah, you're right! Man. Look, I'm gonna send some money to Pete. Cool! But bro, I don't want you thinking it's just about you. That is all about you! Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. It's about you, me, Pete. Mom, I forgot all about our mom. I've been making moves. I making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. No, all we gotta do is sit on it. It's hidden out of sight, out of town, man. We lay low and then sell it. No, 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 I am not interested. Got it? Okay, man. Whatever you say. That's right. Come on. Let's pop. Yo, before we leave, Lance, can I just borrow a Sharpie? I kind of want to draw dicks on these guys' faces. Well, Martinez, Diego, Asta La Pasta, Arrivederci, and Sayonara. Now for the twist ending where one of them twitches and gets back up off the ground. Alright, so I take it that's game? Let's see. Oh damn, that's game guys. It looks like the credits are going to start rolling. Well, what an absolute blast that was. I gotta say, I've never beaten Vice City Stories before, but now that I finally have, it's pretty much up there in my favorite Grand Theft Auto games. You know, there were a couple annoying missions in there, but for the most part, had a lot of really varied and fun stuff. I really enjoy getting to play through it. Um, can't believe I got through all of that in 30 episodes, though. That really flew by quicker than I thought. But uh, this is always the hardest part of the Let's Play, and that's bringing it to an end. I never really want to do it. Part of me always wants to keep it going, even though we really can't. But you know, looking back on it all, I can definitely say this is one of my favorite games so far that I've gotten a chance to Let's Play for you guys. And although I'm already looking forward to the next one, I'll definitely fondly remember this one for a while. And I owe a lot of that to you guys for being so supportive throughout the Let's Play, for checking out these videos and supporting me. It's meant a lot to me, and it's really kept me, giving me the drive to get these videos pumped out as quickly as I have. So I definitely want to share my appreciation with all of you for deciding to check out the videos. I hope that you found them entertaining and enjoyable. 
And um, if you did, I hope that you'll check out some of my other videos that I have posted now, or if you've been following me for a while, I hope that you'll stick around and hopefully enjoy the next game when it comes up. Uh, I'm going to have another Grand Theft Auto game up on my channel very shortly. I've already picked it out and everything. I'm getting ready and set up to go ahead and record some of that later on, probably tomorrow. But before I get too far ahead of myself talking about future projects and stuff like that, I do just want to say one more time, thank you guys. Without you guys here to support me, there wouldn't be these videos. Um, honestly, you guys are the life force of this series, and I appreciate having you, every one of you around. But anyway, what do you guys say? We go ahead and wrap this thing off. So... For the final time, this has been your host, Jesus Quesadilla. If you've not already subscribed to me, please feel free to do so, and that way you can stay updated when I make new updates to my channel. But otherwise, guys, it's been one hell of a ride. But for the final time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace, and let the credits roll.